Hello guys, Softony here and welcome to my channel. Today we're diving into the exciting world of grunge backgrounds. Whether you're an experienced creator or just starting out, this tutorial is for you. But before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any of my future tutorials and creative content. Alright, enough talking, so let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Alright, we're here in After Effects and like always, let's create a new composition, hit Ctrl plus N, I will rename it to Final 9020 by 1080, 30 frames per second and duration, it's up to you, but I will leave it to around 10 seconds. Now let's create our first solid layer for background, right click, find here new solid layer, I will rename it to just BG, also full HD and then hit OK. Our first effect that we're going to use is ramp effect. If you can't find effects and presets, just go window and just hit here to find it and now type ramp effect, drag and drop onto our background and now let's make a few adjustments. For the start of the ramp, go upper left corner, end of the ramp, uh, lower right corner and for the second color, let's change to maybe dark, dark gray color. Hit OK and now also Go here in the facts and preset and find here noise hls and drag and drop onto our background layer and for the hue lightness and saturation type three percent and now in our final we have this uh, cool rangy background okay our next step here in our final scene is to create another solid layer go right click find here of course solid layer i will type fractal noise you can of course type your own text hit ok and then go here at effects and preset and type fractal noise effect drag and drop onto our layer and now let's make few adjustments for the contrast type maybe around 150 for the brightness go around minus 70 for the complexity type here 8 also open up this transform option and scale it to around 600 now we have in our scene something like this also let's animate our evolution hold alt on your keyboard and then type time asterisk 100 and now in our finals, we have this cool moment of our fractal noise effect. Our next effect that we're going to use is emboss effect, drag and drop also on our fractal noise effect. And our third effect that we're going to use is triton effect. Drag and drop into our scene like so. And for the mid tones change, of course, to this also pure black color. I will close this uh, for now. And for the blending mode here in our fractal noise solid layer, let's change it to add. Also, you can duplicate here for a few times if you want to make this scene stronger. And now we have this cool rangy texture in our scene. One effect that we can also add, hit F3 on your keyboard, go here in the facts and preset again and find exposure effect. Drag and drop onto our fractal noise and let's play around with the exposure like so until you're satisfied with the result, maybe to around three, like so. And now in our final scene, we have really cool movement of our fractal noise. Also, you can duplicate this once again, hit Ctrl plus D or go edit to duplicate, hit R for rotation, and you can type here 180. And now we also have opposite movement of our fractal noise layer. And also, as you can see, our scene is looking really cool for now, but we will also add another effect here in our finals, okay? Go again, right click here in our finals, find here also solid layer, I will rename it to Turbulent, hit OK, and then go here in the facts and preset, find here CC Threads effect, drag and drop onto our Turbulent solid layer, and also let's add our Turbulent displays, like so, drag and drop onto our solid, for the displacement, you can play around with the options. For the amount change here, instead of 50 to 1000, like so. Also for the blending mode, instead of normal, change here to uh, multiply. And now let's also animate our evolution. Uh, hit Alt on your keyboard, hold Alt, and then hit on this uh, little stopwatch. And also type here, time asterisk 100. And now in our finals, when we hit zero, we have also this shape in our scene. You can play around here with the width and height, like so, change here shape. Also what we can do, hit S, maybe to around 120 for this layer. Also, as I have mentioned before, everything is up to you. Also, let's try to change our complexity to maybe around five here in our scene. And now when we hit zero, we have also this 
full movement of our effect. In every moment you can turn on and off visibility of our turbulent layer, also the rest of the layers, you can basically play around with everything. Let's try maybe to do exposure to around 4 for now and this is looking really cool. Also for the final step what we can do is to pre-compose everything, select everything, go right click, pre-compose, I will rename just one and then go here in the effects and preset, find here again triton effect drag and drop onto our scene and you can basically play around with the colors maybe to do something like this also hit control plus d duplicate and delete this triton effect for the bottom composition and you can also play here with the blending modes let's try overlay or add screen according your needs also hit t for opacity you can play around with everything to get the results that you want all right, guys, uh, that was everything for today's tutorial. This was easy to create a grungy background. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Also, please consider to subscribe. Also, take a look uh, at my channel for even more great tutorials. Use this background in your projects. All the links are in the description. And until next time, stay creative and bye bye.